<laughs> What's up guys, it's Alec Mag 111 and as you can tell by the title of this video, it's actually been a little bit since I've done a collection video and I bought two this past two weeks, so I, this is one of the collections I got and then next week's video will be another collection I got. I actually uploaded a gameplay video last week, but it only got like 1.5k views and you guys said something about wanting to watch gameplay, so I will throw that in a card here if you want to go watch it. I obviously think you guys like the collection videos the most because I know my channel is primarily centered around unboxings, but I do want to try and do more gameplay whenever I can play. Hopefully at the beginning of August, there's another event I might be attending. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this big unboxing. So like normal, I will have a certain price that I have spent on this and end with a zero or a five. If you guess it right, I will send you a patch and I also now have stickers as well. So you can either choose from or I will allow you to do, let's say you guys can have both. So if you, win, if you guess the right number, I'll give you a sticker and a patch from this video. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so this box is kind of destroyed. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I basically had some BBs that are kind of leaking out in there, and so it broke over, and it is 81 pounds. I actually bought this from a dude. I bought a high cap on eBay and then sent it back to him because it was having issues, so he fixed it, and then he also sent me the rest of his collection. So I ended up buying him. He's like, hey, dude, I'm getting out of the sport. And so this is the rest of his collection. We will start out with that high cap, but I believe, oh. They're the mags. I lied. We are not going to start out with the high cap. Instead, we're going to start out with whatever is in here, I believe. So I bought a blue high cap from him, and then I also bought a gold high cap from him. I believe the gold one is in here, but the blue one still needs parts. So he's fixing that up as well as one of my silver high cap as I sent it to him. And first weapon up is a Crytac SDP, man. This is the pistol variant one uh this is the mark one it looks like you can kind of tell by the triggers but it looks like this thing has literally never been used and this is one of the pts epms these are the mid caps i've had a few of these i really like these magazines i think they're regarded as like the best on the market overall but the gmp high rps mags are definitely worth it more i think you can get two of those for the price of one of these um but this is a really really nice gun i actually just sold one of these i believe in silver to uh, my friend Norm from up in Canada, except it had some upgrades and was a little bit nicer, but this will be a really nice little starter gun for somebody. Like I said, this boy is 81 pounds. He shipped it all the way from California, I believe, in a refrigerator box, which is pretty funny. Um, this is a Ronin Gear case. I've actually never heard of them, but Ronin Gear California, it's actually really nice. I like it. It's kind of a cool like SMG size case. All right, up next, it looks like this was his primary rig. Um, there's a really cool gun in here that I will get to at some point, but basically this guy spent a little bit of his time as a sniper. So literally this is, uh, it's like almost exactly how he ran it. So there's an Elite Force dead rag in here. Looks like he's got some sort of holster. I'm not sure if this is, this is on the left side. So I'm not, I don't assume it's his gun. It says Warrior Assault Systems. This is a really nice belt as well. I think this is one of the, uh, oh yeah, it's a Cobra Cobra belt and buckle. The outside, I believe this is all Condor, so it is a little bit lower end, but the inside is a nice Cobra buckle. I think actually Condor may be having some stuff where they release with the Cobra buckles, but these are really, really regarded as like one of the best belt buckle systems. I think the best belt buckle of systems in the inside of the belt is a multi-cam belt and it looks really nice as well. And it says it is a Emerson gear. So wow, that's actually kind of surprising. Emerson gear belt that feels really nice with a Cobra buckle. Um, I know like, I think some of the higher end belts that I've ever had use these, um, but you can get belts that are either super cheap or ones that are crazy high and it kind of just depends on the system. It looks like he's running um, his HSGI mag pouches here on this right side. These are like the extended mag. Um, holders kind of like the mp7 I really like the mp7s here and then the vector mags also fit in these as well and then they got the pistols on the front I've never seen this system above that before which is kind of cool and then it looks like these are just some basic pouches with some sort of um, speed clip I believe these are probably like a condor they feel pretty high quality but I'm not sure exactly what brand it is but a nice little harness setup he's got his uh, Wolverine airsoft patch there as well dump pouch and then it looks like I think his HPA tank went there Hint, hint, wink, wink. All right, up next, we have the pistol. So this is a gold high cap. Uh, oh my gosh, dude, this is sick. So this is the gold TM high cap that I ended up, he told me the blue one. And he was like, hey man, I have another gold one that you might be interested in. It has the Airsoft Masterpiece lower. This is a different aluminum lower, I believe. This is like the black one. I'm not actually sure what slide this is as well. This is really nice. And he's got the Ace Tech uh, Bluetooth lighter. S on here. These make awesome pistol tracers and they're just a really, really nice system. A6 actually sent me some products in the past 
and I love their stuff. They just work really, really well. Um, looks like he's got some nicer parts in here as well. I'm pretty sure this is like completely upgraded. Yeah, it looks like he's got the Airsoft Masterpiece brass hop up. Um, some short stroke buffers on there as well, and I like what he's done. I'm not sure exactly what barrel that is, but he's got the infinity front and rear sights on there as well. This one does not have back um, the tritium technically sights, fake tritium, because <laughs> real ones are stupid expensive, but it does have the nice little fiber optic. Definitely going to get some sick close-ups of this bad boy. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous gun. All right, up next we have what I believe to be his leg rig. So uh, I guess he was running his mags, M4 mags on his leg, I believe left side would make sense. And he's got his PTS EPMs in here. So this is actually really cool. He got the Cryptek, um, I think this is Typhon is the black color, Cryptek Typhon repro of the fast mags i don't believe these are real the real ones are like itw fast mag pouches i actually really really love these pouches this was one of like the first fast pouches i ever started using and you can eat it's really cool because you can either hang them upside down and they do a pretty good job the real ones do a really good job of holding them and the fake ones do a pretty good job of holding them as well for as cheap there's a bunch of companies that make repros of these i have no idea which brand these are but i know evike has their own brand and then i got some off ebay back in the day and then this is an hsgi leg rig i believe i'm not super familiar with this or what this is called but it's like a leg panel i do know these are pretty expensive and i really like this rig that he's running <laughs> my man did say he was a paintball player so he threw a pot in there i'm sorry for any of you that do not like the p word it happened paintball it is what it is um i don't think paintballers and airsofters should hate each other i think it's something you kind of play i thought it was sweet demo made a video where he went and played paintball and he had one of the dudes that plays paintball come play airsoft and i thought that was pretty fun um but it was really cool to see how the paintball players were like way more chill and just had fun and it wasn't as like toxic as some of the airsofters yelling back at each other pretending to be operator mclovin but not having any skills all right ran over uh these are some we extendo mags i believe he sent me five of these in the package or six of these this is what he said he ran in his high cap but they are all hpa tapped i'm not sure if these are the cqb russian taps or what the brand of the different taps are they all look like they're the same and he's got some teflon tape on there as well probably to help with the ceiling yeah so here are some of the short mags these are uh i'm not exactly sure which ones these look like they're we i would assume but they have some really cool base plate on there that says like one two three four i really like that it's kind of got a nice little thumb groove in there as well and then some sniper rifle magazines action armies these are like the BSR mags. Yo, all the BBs might have come out of that other pod. I think Rob was right. I think that pod might have opened. And so all of these BBs are in my kitchen currently. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. All right, up next, maybe this was his nicer belt setup. This is uh, looks like to be a nicer belt. Um, it does look like it's Condor, but it does look like it's a little bit wider, and he has some more HSGI pistols on here. I would assume this was his pistol belt, if that makes sense. Maybe this was just when he wanted to play, like, fast light gameplay, because he's got a dump pouch, and then, like, if you want to run only his Kai Kappa, maybe. All right, now I don't know what to say. This is belt number three. This is a Griffin slash just an inner. Ah, oh, I bet this was the stock inner, and then he bought a nicer Cobra multicam inner for that other belt system slash H harness. We're using our brain cells, boys. My man's included an entire toolbox as well. This is a Craftsman toolbox. Didn't know you were getting tool reviews on this channel. Inside is a Thunder Bee and a super nice screwdriver. Hops Elite. Uh -oh, this is like a real gun thing of cleaning or something. Maybe it's a high gap of thing. And then more Thunder Bee shells in there. CO2 power. And then my man really liked the Thunder Bees because he's got the entire Hikatsu grenade shell arsenal. I remember when Thunder Bees first came out back in the day, they were so much fun and they were pretty cheap too and, and inexpensive. So you kind of just chuck them and they make like this big pop. Some people would fill them with BBs because some fields may, uh, you had to get hit with the BB. But I think at Fallen Warriors, we used like a 15 foot kill radius. It's just a fun little thing. And you throw the CO2 capture, capsule in here. I think someone else ended up, I think Hikatsu went out of business or something. And I think APS might have taken over. Not 100% sure how that went down, so don't quote me on it. But pretty cool. Up next is another chest rig. I believe this is just a basic Condor chest rig. This would actually be really good for some people that are kind of getting in. This is basically the same chest rig that I kind of started out playing Airsoft, except I had to buy some other mag pouches. This one looks like it has six built in. Wow, that's really nice. And then it's got Molly on the top as well. That's a pretty cool little chest rig. Not sure exactly what brand. Oh, it's Condor figures. Um, 
but not sure what the name of this is or anything, but nice little star trick or two. All right, we're getting to the end. So he's got some Ace Tech Tracer BBs, uh, a bunch of O-rings for like high kappa stuff. I am gonna save the gun for last though. Also got some EMG ammo cases. These are six millimeter training rounds. I've actually never seen these cases before. That's kind of a cool little idea. 5,000 rounds and these are two eights. And this one, it says KDB Perfect 2.5s. Another bottle of Ace Tech Tracer BBs. These are the reds as well. We have some more high kappa parts. This is AW Custom Mag, and he believe he has a Titan battery in here as well. This is the 7.4 3500 million, or yeah, 350 million. Whoops. I think this is like a FCU LiPo, and I think this is for the gun. Yeah, it is. All right, last few accessories. He's got a new Max Hop-Up. I think I have like three of these now. These are awesome. I'm probably gonna install them. Basic TM mag. We got a T1 Repro of some sort, and then another random high cap mag, probably AW Custom. All right, last thing is gear-wise, uh, mesh lower, some sort of green pouch. This is actually pretty nice. I'm guessing it's probably just like a Condor one though. Um, this is like some sort of IFAC pouch, I believe. And then, yeah, it's Condor. And then two nice batteries, the Tenergy 11.1s, 1200s. These will be awesome. All right, it's gun time, baby. So this is what you guys have waited for. This is actually the thing I am most excited about in this package as well. And here she is. Oh my gosh. So this is an HPA sniper. I believe this is like, wow, that is insanely light. This is the JG Works external setup. So that's what all the VSR mags were for. It looks like this bolt is extra. Dude, look at that pull, that's crazy. I've heard HPA snipers have a really crazy short pull. I know with the Tanaka Car 98, you could literally bring it up, just pull it out, put the BB in. But I really like the rubberized texture at the end. I don't know if that's like a stock JG job or if he added some sort of rubber paint texture on it. He's got a really nice scope on here as well. And then this has the Wolverine HPA system in there. You can tell it also has some upgraded hop up. Um, this man said that this gun's shooting like 300 feet and you can tune it to whatever FPS you want. It's got a UTG um, little sling point here, which I actually really like this. This is kind of nice. I don't normally run slings in Airsoft, um, but it's a pretty nice little setup. I don't know if he's running something through here or what exactly he's running. You can tell I don't run slings very often, um, mainly because I play faster games. But this is a really nice setup. It's got a Matrix. Uh, this is a big old scope in here. This is a 39 by 50 e So I believe it would be illuminated um, on there as well. Uh, maybe? I don't see any illumination, but I really like those reticles in there. I'm super excited. If you guys want me to field this, let me know. I think that suppressor actually might go on the end of this. But I think he said he was actually using this for CQB for fun last time he played. And so I think that's why they took the suppressor off. It's got a flash hider or I guess threads in there, and then a super nice barrel. I, this is all upgraded. Everything in this gun is super upgraded. I have not spent much time sniping, but I've always wanted to ever since Novridge started releasing all his big videos. And even before that, as a kid, I was like, you kind of have that as an airsoft. You're like, oh my gosh, Modern Warfare 2 intervention slash bear. I'm smoking kids. I should be able to do that on the airsoft field. Unfortunately, it does not work unless you pour in a lot of money, which this man has. And this is such a cool little setup. I love this little gun. I've never had a short sniper rifle like this. Nonetheless, an HPA sniper rifle. So a few firsts for me. Hopefully we'll get some footage of playing with this bad boy. Um, but I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Like I said, if you guessed this right, um, I will probably like love your comment. I like a lot of your guys' comments anytime you guess, just because I appreciate you guys commenting and being there for the video. But this has been AlecMac111, and I will see you guys soon. Pew, pew. I mean, pew, pew. <laughs>